Welcome to Third Bread Action from Elm Street Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're here for our special Memorial Day card, joined by Katie Stazak. Uh, Katie and I are looking at the races throughout the afternoon. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions. The main track, fast turf course, firm, our first race, six for all on claiming event for three-year-olds and up. We do have one scratch to report in the race, and that's number nine, Lodge Coffee. Racing at Gulfstream. It was a good beginning. Dream Maestro and Rocky Gap get the first call. Quiz Whiz on the outside and Unleash the Humor from down toward the inside. A real scramble on for the lead. Unleash the Humor leads just by a head. In between horses is Grand Jet Setter with High Hand Poker and Quiz Whiz comprising the top flight. Just off the speed from fifth is Ritmo Criollo about three lengths behind. It's a stretch of three lengths back to the team of Capital City and Dream Maestro. They're two and a half lengths better than on the outside to Rocky Gap. Down inside is Mihijo and the early trailer is no act. They move around the far turn after a 22 and 3 opening quarter. Quiz Whiz on the outside now has the lead. High hand poker tries to battle back second, two and a half lengths better than Grand Jet Setter. He calls it an afternoon third. Ritmo Criolo and Unleash the Humor are next, and they run to the top of the stretch. With the lead, Quiz Whiz, veteran campaigner, cuts the corner two lengths on top. High hand poker asked to re rally well, second toward the inside, late run coming, and a good late run it is from Capital City. They're inside the final furlong. Quiz Whiz still has the lead. It's Quiz Whiz by two from between horses. Grand Grand Jet Setter up the inside is that late run from Capital City. Quiz Whiz almost home. Quiz Whiz is hanging on. Capital City is second from Unleash the Humor in third and Grand Jet Setter fourth in 110 and four. It's number 10, Quiz Whiz getting up for ups and downs racing in Pedro Elefron, trained by Monty Thomas and ridden to victory today by Ramsey Zimmerman. Who's hotter than Ramsey Zimmerman? Second race, four and a half furlongs. Babies come center stage. This one's a maiden claiming event for maiden Philly two year olds. Claiming price $35,000. Jockey changer in the six. It's Anthony Stephen. And they're off. The favorite Knox County Zip like a rocket right out to take the lead from Yarmorka who comes away in second. On her outside and moving closer is another Grand Slam. So it's another Grand Slam to take it to the favorite Knox County Zip. They're in lockstep. Yarmorka's away racing in third with Miss Deja Vu now fourth. Down to the inside in their fifth is Carmen Secret and they run around the far turn three lengths better than Halo of Dreams and the leader is Knox County Zip but up on the outside a full challenge from another Grand Slam. Oh, Yarmorka's off their speed and here's a decisive move outside for Miss Deja Vu and Miss Deja Vu and Shannon Yuski with a powerhouse move at the quarter pole. They take the lead. Bravo trying to motivate the favorite Knox County Zip to work off the fence and rally home. Back to third is Yarmorka and they're at the top of the stretch. Miss Deja Vu has come to play today. She's a bit green, but she's in front. Knox County Zip takes another run at her on the outside. These two 16th pole. Miss Deja Vu in front. Knox County Zip on track late, but not enough. Miss Deja Vu. Miss Deja Vu with a good-looking debut to beat the favorite Knox County Zip. Close for third, Halo of Dreams or Yarmorka in 53 and one. Number nine, Miss Deja Vu gets up the score and pays $47 to win. Owned by Rayana and Raya Racing, trained by Randy Prasad and ridden to victory today by Shannon Yuski. We'll take a short break. We'll be back for the third race in just a couple of moments. This is a moment of history. Treat yourself like royalty when wagering on the sport of kings with ExpressBet. ExpressBet is the legal, fast, and secure way to bet on over 300 tracks around the world. No other website offers you greater value with 100% free wagering, past performances, video replays, and daily picks. Sign up today to receive a bonus and start earning points with XP rewards. Earn even more when you refer your friends. It's the most rewarding experience in racing. ExpressBet, your way to play. A six furlong sprint. It's an allowance optional claimer for three year olds and upward. We have one scratch and it's the outside horse, number 11, Cosmic Flash. And 
Vera. Toward the inside, game day gets the first call, quickly tackled in the center by good boy Charlie, who moves to challenge, and Starship Sulu is in between horses. These three are quickest. Then it's a length and a half back, moving up Dreaming of Nino, who's now down inside, and moving on the outside is Pontos as they run down the backstretch. My Charming Clyde and on the outside, Backwater Blues, followed by Argosy, and Trippy Cotton is last of all as they swing around the far turn. With inside position and the lead, it's game day, and Hugo Sanchez in front by a length. Starship Sulu on the outside, second Dreaming of Nino is pocketed up, out three deep and moving closer is good boy Charlie. Now moving four wide off the fence is Dreaming of Nino as it's Pontos, who's down inside. They're three lengths better than Backwater Blues, and Dreaming of Nino bids up three wide. Up on the outside, Dreaming of Nino ahead in front now. Trying to kick on the inside is Good Boy Charlie and at the rail, Starship Sulu. Two and a half lengths back to Pontos, who's fourth, and they're at the top of the stretch. Dreaming of Nino cut loose and now has the lead three parts of a length. Starship Sulu not going down without a fight. Battles right back inside. Two lengths better than Good Boy Charlie, then Argosy late for a minor award, but Dreaming of Nino has the lead, and Dreaming of Nino and Kevin Krieger will win by a length and a quarter. Order. Starship Sulu was second. It's close for third between Good Boy Charlie and Argosy in 110 and 2. Number seven, Dreaming of Nino wins it for owner Frank Call. Calabrese trained by Rashawn Creeke and ridden to victory today by Kevin Krigger. The fourth race, six furlong, maiden claiming event, maiden three-year-olds and upward, a jockey change in the scratch. The jockey on the four is Abdiel I.N. Scratch number 10, Dylan's Actor. And they're off. Philanthropo begins nicely, but there goes the first-time starter, Heir to the Crown. He's quick early, Heir to the Crown a length and a half in front. Soccerholic moves through now to be second in front of Dreaming of Lawrence in third. Philanthropo is away racing fourth and three lengths behind. Two and a half lengths better than Montesarchio with Gangnam Camp to his inside. It's a stretch of another two and a half to Speedy Buckaroo. Then it's a gap of five lengths toward the inside Confederate money, and Semper Curry is last of all inside a half a mile to go. Soccerholic angled off the fence to inject pace in to heir to the crown. Heir to the crown by a head. Soccerholic right alongside. Philanthropo is asked to do some running third. Montesarchio fourth. The Korean bred Gangnam Camp is fifth inside with five lengths to raise and they run to the top of the stretch. Soccerholic is now onto the front and puts away heir to the crown. Philanthropo is back third. He's outside and three lengths better than Montesarchio. Then on the inside the Gangnam Camp and they turn for the money. Soccerholic straightens for the drive on a two and a half length lead. Trying to track the leader down second is Philanthropo toward the rail and Montesarchio. There's an Eighth of a mile to go. Soccerholic still there. Two length lead. Philanthropo going to take another run at him on the outside. And here he comes. Philanthropo with the momentum. Philanthropo outside in time. Nice ride there from Abdiel Hyen and Philip Tropo getting up to win it over Soccerholic's second. Montesarchio was third. Close for fourth. Heir to the throne or Speedy Buckaroo in 112 and two. It's number four, Philanthropo winning it for St. George Stable LLC. Trained by Efren Lozer Jr. Ridden to victory today by Abdiel Hyen. The fifth race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. It's a maiden event for maiden three-year-olds and upward. Scratch the two, what's up big guy? Scratch the three, fashion held. And the number 13 will get in and run. And they're off. From the center, it's Mon Petit Pote who moves out to take the lead down toward the rail. Carson's 10 is up to challenge, and on the outside, Simon Barr Sinister. These three are quickest. Steel and Pact and Hand Pick come away next, followed by Shiva Ryan with Army Not Man on the inside. And it's a length back to Skip's World and Hayati San. Wall Street Kitten is second last, and Prince Warrior is last as they mix it up three wide around the first turn run. Mapati Pote who leads by a head. Carson's 10 is inside and out three wide. Simon Bar Sinister really tugging too. Simon Bar Sinister trying to relax off the speed and a length and a half better than hand picked. Then it's the gray steel and pack racing fifth and about four and a half off the speed. Two lengths better to Are We Not Men who's down inside. Then it's Shiva Ryan with Skip's World next. He's mid flight about six and a half off the speed. He's three lengths better than Hayati Sun. Then Wall Street Kitten. And last of all, the trailer Prince Warrior. Opening quarter sharp 22 and two fifths 
seconds. The half mile in 46 seconds flat. Pace to chase here as they move to the far turn. Carson's 10 leads by a length. Montpetit Pote second. Simon Bar Sinister third. Are we not men and Shiver Ryan look to move up and steal and pack on the outside as they run around the far turn. Here's Simon Bar Sinister up for a short lead. Prado trying to find room now for Are We Not Men and Zimmerman and Steel and Pack get first run. Shiver Ryan moves from the backfield and Skip's World is held up and they're at the top of the stretch. And here's Steel and Pack and Ramsey Zimmerman off the corner in front, the length and a half and widening. Back to second now on the inside and trying to kick with the leader. Simon Bar Sinister down the outside. Are We Not Men? Widest of all, Shiver Ryan and Skip's World is surfacing inside the final furlong now. Here comes Are We Not Men trying to get Steel and Pack. Steel and Pack almost home. Are We Not Men? A final surge. The these two steal and pack. Steal and pack and Ramsey Zimmerman prevailed by a neck from up on the outside. Are we not men? Second skips world third and Shiva Ryan was fourth in 142 and one. Number 10, steal and pack. Pretty nice performance. Owned by Box Stables, LLC and Barbara Curtin. Trained by Ralph Nix. And that gives Jockey Ramsey Zimmerman his second win on the card. We'll take a break. Be back for the sixth. Just a bit. Pound and Bay in front as they hit the last 16th of a mile. 15 to one shot, Pound and Bay got it done. What a horse race here as they come to the last 16th of a mile. Lexi Lou unwavering on the lead. Lexi Lou to win the South Ocean. Pound and Bay will finish second. Sligo Bay, Canada's leading sire of two-year-olds and number two on the Canadian general sire list in 2013, standing at Adina Springs. OBS is the leading two-year-old source to the world. The OBS June sale has produced such prominent runners as 2013 Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile winner Golden Sense and 2014 Fountain of Youth Stakes winner Wildcat Red. Nearly 1,200 quality racing prospects will be offered at the OBS June sale of two-year-olds at Horses of Racing Age June 17th through 20th. OBS, we measure success by performance. Welcome back, sixth race, six and a half furlong sprint. It's for maiden fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up. One late scratch in the race, number two, Lady Anita. And they're off. Missing the start six lengths was Benny's dream and three lengths last was one look. Toward the inside, it was a sharp beginning for Concord Park, who goes for the lead. But moving up on the outside with keen speed, Sophia's Pride. Sophia's Pride crosses and clears and leads by a length and a half. From the outside, Pekinisa now joins the party to be second from Like You as a Friend, who is third. Concord Park is on the inside, fourth a length and a half better than Miss Away, followed by one look. Then Distinctive Lady and in between horses, Quinn Cat. It's a stretch of another five or six lengths to Fantastic Voyage and not in the race, Benny's Dream. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn after a 22 and 2 opening quarter. Here comes Pekinisa on the outside, and Pekinisa is up to challenge Sophia's Pride for the lead, and two lengths better than Miss Away, who tries to make ground. Distinctive Lady and Quinn Cat. They're within five lengths of the top, and they run to the top of the stretch. On the outside, Pekinisa and the yellow blinkers now puts her head in front. Sophia's Pride tries to battle on second. Quinn Cat and Miss Away rally up on the outside. Quinn Cat needs room, has horse, no place to prove it, finds a seam for Leva, and here she comes now. Here's Quinn Cat with three sixteenths to go on even terms with Pekinisa. Miss Away tries to fight on, and Distinctive Lady is fourth. Quinn Cat got the trip, and she has the lead. Miss Away is drifting back to third. Pekinisa, it's Quinn Cat. In front, Quinn Cat wins and wins by two. Second was Miss Away, it's close for third. Pekinisa holds on over a hard charging, fantastic voyage in 118 flat. Number seven, Quinn Cat draws off to win it very nicely. Owned by Stein Racing LLC, trained by Bill Kaplan, ridden the victory today by Juan Leva. The seventh race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. It's an allowance optional claimer for three year olds and up with scratch the four, scratch the five. Note the jockey on the eight. Joe's Blazing Aaron is Edgar Prado. And they're off. Tardy beginning for Starship Zorro. Joe's Blazing Aaron wins the break and goes looking for the early lead. Down toward the inside, My Best Brother showing speed. And Ali Oop Oop is away in the top flight, racing third early. 
Then from the center, it's Drover Road with Philly Ace out wide as they make their way into the first turn. They're chasing the sharp speed of Joe's Blazing Aaron, who leads it by two lengths. Racing in second outside is Ali Oop Oop with My Best Brother on the inside third. Then it's two lengths more to Philly Ace, who's fourth in the two path. To his inside is Drover Road. Length and a half to Roman Tiger. Splitting horses is Abadoy with Lay It Down out wide. These three have about five lengths now. And Starship Zorro, who's recovered after a bad break. He's mid-flight, but he's about six or seven off the speed now. And the back markers are Franklin Park and Dangerous Lad. Quarter time, 23 and one. They're chasing Joe's Blazing Aaron by a length and a half. Ali Oop Oop is there second. My Best Brother's asked to do a little running from third from Philly Ace in fourth. Then Drover Road. Roman Tiger is down inside. Lay It Down covers ground, but he's about six lengths behind. In between horses is Abadoy, and they run around the far turn. No pressure yet for Joe's Blazing Aaron. He leads it by two. Ali Oop Oop is out after him. Second, Philly Ace on the outside begins to warm to the task, and Philly Ace is third with five lengths to raise. Moving from the back is Lay It Down, and they run to the top of the stretch. Edgar Prado and Joe's Blazing Aaron confidently handled off the top of the turn with the two and a half length lead. Ali Oop Oop is there. Second, Philly Ace on the outside, and Drover Road's up the fence, but into the stretch drive, Joe's Blazing Aaron's on cruise control here. Joe's Blazing Aaron and Edgar Prado under a hand ride and long gone. Ali Upoop's battling for second on the outside Philly Ace to the finish. Joe's Blazing Aaron in a laugher. Ali Upoop was second. Philly Ace finished third. Drover Road was fourth in 139 and four. Number eight, Joe's Blazing Aaron flaunts his speed and his class and draws off the win impressively. Thrown as Ken and Sam Ramsey, trained by Mike Maker, ridden to victory today by Edgar Prado. The eighth race on the fast main track, six for a long sprint, claim is Phillies and Mares, three and up, scratch, number four, hot, cotton. And they're off. Double interest stumbled at the start. There was a quick start down inside for Rocket T, who goes looking for the lead. Moving alongside is Starship Melody. These two are quickest. Hard Knockin' Lady comes away in the top flight with Java Mine off heels, and Carla and Mia is out wide. Then it's Double Interest with Broadway Secret next. Two lengths to Sweet Kalia. To Sweet Kalia is outside is Bella Vision, and last on, in on the inside is Captiva's Calling. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Rocket T leads by a head. Moving up on the outside, Hard Knockin' Lady in second. Four lengths better than the Starship Melody third. Toward the inside, it's Java Mind toward the outside, Carla and me. The favorite's having to do some work now. Then it's a length and a half back to the outside and trying to get going is Broadway Secret with the double interest, and they run to the top of the stretch. It's the Tampa Invader, Rocket T, held together by a head, hard-knocking lady. Up on the outside is now second. Carla and me is put to pressure, and Java Mind is fourth, and hard-knocking lady is first. Hard-knocking lady cut loose by Panici, leads it by two. Rocket T is back to second. Java Mind down the outside, and in between them, Carla and me. Eighth of a mile to go. Hard-knocking lady with a three Three length lead. Rocket T is second. Carla and me is third. It's hard knocking lady in front. Hard knocking lady and Luca Panici will prevail in the end by almost three. Rocket T saved second in front of Carla and me in third. And Captiva's calling rolled from last and got fourth in 113 and two. That's number two, hard knocking lady, winning it for Francis Tesha, trained by Priscilla Nichols and ridden to victory today by Luca Panici. Take a break. Be back for the late Daily Double in just a minute or so. Gulfstream Park is one of Florida's top entertainment destinations. Mixing restaurants, clubs, a casino, and international boutique shops with world-class racing. In a lavish, sun-drenched setting with the feel of a Mediterranean village, Gulfstream is a leading year-round entertainment and tourist destination and the home of luxury residences in 2014. The Stronach family, owners of Gulfstream Park, is committed to the sport of thoroughbred racing and the grace, spirit, and generosity of the horse.
Youth Race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. It's an allowance optional claimer for three year olds and upwards. Scratch the one prior on the also scratch 13, 15, and 16. Note number 14, Starship Avenger gets in and will race. And they're off. Toward the inside, it's Charlie the Boss who shows first. Starship Avenger from the Hydra will use some of his speed, and Golden Jason is down inside. Balthazar is keyed up and wants to be part of the pace. Down toward the inside, it's War Classic in the run to the first turn. They're chasing the speed of Charlie the Boss. He is the boss, and he's two lengths in front. Golden Jason is there second. War Classic was in tight there. Balthazar still trying to settle. Moving up out wide is uh, Dream Saturday away in the top flight now, and settling in third, Starship Avenger. Then it's a length back to Cage Fighter. That's the favorite midfield, but already about seven or eight off the speed now. He's a length and a half better than War Classic and Two Jacks Wild. Start up is next, followed by Eclipticals Praline, and last, Imagine That Mom. Down the backstretch they go. They're strung out over about 15 lengths as they head down the backstretch, and Charlie the Boss still leads. Charlie the Boss to the half mile pole on top by two. Golden Jason is second. Starship Avenger is now racing in third. Moving up on the outside and starting to improve is Dream Saturday inside Empire Builder. Then that's a length to Cage Fighter. Bravo has him well placed, but he'll need room eventually. Jack's Wild up the inside. Startup is going to cover ground out wide. Then it's a gap of two lengths back to Eclipsical Praline, followed by Dwar Classic. And imagine that mom is still last, and the leader is still Charlie the Boss. Charlie the Boss is in front, moving up on the outside. Balthazar tries to sustain a charge. Widest of all, and now coming on well is Startup. Golden Jason hits the front. Cage Fighter weaves to the far outside, and they're at the top of the stretch. Wide open horse race here. The leader is Charlie the Boss by Annette Golden Jason is second. Cage Fighter is unleashed by Bravo down the center of the racetrack. Here's Cage Fighter trying to get Golden Jason late. Golden Jason drifting slightly, but Cage Fighter's got him now. It's Cage Fighter and Joe Bravo, well judged to win three parts of a length. Racing second in the end was Golden Jason and close for third, Baltazar or Empire Builder in 140 and four. Number nine, Cage Fighter delivers the knockout punch, closes really strongly, and that gives owners Ken and Sarah Ramsey and trainer Mike Maker their second wins on the card, written today by Joe Bravo. Tenth and final race on the turf, one mile and one sixteenth, maiden claim is Phillies and Mares, three and up, scratch the Altos, 13, 14, and 15. And runners away. It's Kaluma who gets the first call and goes looking for the lead. Lucasta moves to challenge on the outside. These two are quickest. They're a length better than Kimberly Is That You with Berna alongside. Also away in the top flight is Taku Taku Girl as they sort themselves out and race into the first turn. With the lead, it's Kaluma by a head. On the outside, Lucasta is there. Second, Senorita Sangria improves between horses. And this key home is down toward the inside. Out wide is Kimberly, is that you? Half a length better than Sophia Leonor. To her outside is Taku Taku Girl. Then it's a gap of two and a half lengths back to a fleet alley with Berna alongside. The team at the back include the favorite to have and to hold inside the gray schoolgirl Mia and Gussie up is three wide. Opening quarter aggressive, 23 and two. Down the back stretch they go and Lou Costa off the claim in front to half a length. Kaluma is there second, Sophia Leonor is perched off their flank while third. This key home is in fourth in between horses and moving closer now is Kimberly, is that you? Berna's on the outside. Trying to get motivated from the backfield is to have us to hold. The favorite is still last under Joe Bravo and trying to get motivated here. About 15 lengths off the speed as they run around the far turn. Kaluma's back up on the inside of Lou Costa for the lead. Sophia Leonor is still third. Kimberly, is that you, is now racing in fourth. Nobody doing running from the backfield and that includes the favorite. So this is up for grabs now as they come off the corner and straighten away for home. Lou Costa in the two path. Kaluma cuts the corner now and battles right on. Three lengths back to Kimberly. Is that you? Third, and they're at the top of the stretch. Kaluma re-breaks and opens up. Lucas is second. Kimberly, is that you? Is third. The battle's on for fourth, but Kaluma is going to win it. It's Kaluma and Kaber Koa to powerhouse home in the final race of the day. They'll win at an upset price by three lengths. Lucas was second in front of Kimberly. Is that you? Third. Then to happen to hold fourth and Berna to complete the high five. Number eight, Kaluma springs the upset in the nightcap pace. $35 to win, owned by Riding Jack Racing, trained by Dennis Ford, ridden the victory today by Kaibar Koa. And the pick four, 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 five, ninety-six, forty. Pick five, 
five of five, two thousand five hundred ninety-eight dollars fifteen cents. Four of five, twenty-five eighty-five. The Rainbow Six, six of six, paid twelve thousand seven hundred ninety-six dollars and four cents. And here are today's claims. And that wraps up Monday's action. Remember, Katie, we go back to our regular schedule now, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, and just a couple of weeks away from the Belmont Stakes. Yes, we could have a Triple Crown winner, but we wouldn't be able to enjoy this beautiful Monday of racing here at Gulfstream Park without acknowledging the service to all of those men and women in the military who have served our country and allowed us to live freely. Thank you for all you do, and enjoy your Memorial Day. Couldn't have said it better myself. Good night and good luck.